With the yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. In the last video, we beat the Extra Star Cup with a rank D. And in this video, we're going to the Extra Special Cup. It's Extra Special. Yeah, all the other Extra Cup names are just so basic like Extra Flower Cup. It's an Extra Flower Cup. And then you've got Extra Special Cup, which is just a completely different name altogether. Because it's Extra Special, hooray! And then it claps its hands and puts a dunce hat on or something. But yeah, the Extra Special Cup, it's pretty hard. But this particular course is no trouble. Cooper Beach 2, you know I love the Cooper Beach courses. I can't imagine why there is one in the Extra Star Cup and the Extra Special Cup instead of earlier courses, but I appreciate it. It's a nice bit of relief from the trauma that will come in the other courses, and I expect that's what they were going for. But yeah, Cooper Beach 2, it's slightly different in the original game. There's lots of cheap cheap bouncing about on the water, but they're missing in this game. This course also came back for Mario Kart DS, which also brings back the bouncing cheap cheeps. The darker patches of water, you would submerge into them if you drove over it, and then Lakitu might have to fish you out. I imagine that's how you pronounce Lakitu. So, hooray, we got first, 1 minute and 11.76 seconds. It's not difficult, is it? But it's fun. Not as fun as Cooper Beach 1, but it's fun. So now we move on to something that's not fun. Now Ghost Valley 1 is pathetically easy and I admitted that in the video. By the way, I'm not going to get the starting boost here. I'd rather have control over my cart at the start here. Even though it meant Yoshi and Toad could overtake me. I'm back in the lead again. Yeah, Ghost Valley 2, I called it easy and then I failed. Come on, get Yoshi with this banana. That would really help me. At least it would help to stay on the course. Come on. Wow, look how many people fell off and then they're descending from the sky. Bowser, that was incredibly unhelpful. And Donkey Kong, I had to waste a red shell on. Right, let's use this last one on Bowser. And can I have a star? A star will do. Yeah, you just ask for a star. It gives you a star and then you're like, oh, a star will do. But yeah, Ghost Valley 3! It's quite difficult. I don't recommend getting the uh, landing boost from the key to. It'll generally screw you over. But yeah, Ghost Valley 3, it's hard as nails. You can see loads of points in the course where you could fall off. And obviously, there's all these holes in the course as well, which are even more likely for you to fall off. In addition to that, the coins are pretty hard to get in here. In my first practice I only got three coins at the end of it and I came fourth in the race then in the second practice I came first but with only five coins and then in my first recording I got eight and in my second recording I got first with 11 coins but then I screwed up later and I decided to re-record but currently I'm on path for first place with 10 coins and I've still got a red shell in reserve and a whole batch of green shells. So, I'm gonna jinx it here and say I've got faith in myself here. Indeed, 11 coins. By the way, there's an extra boost pad in uh, the original Super Mario Kart version of this course. You know how there was two little jumps across the course? Yeah, before the second one, there's a boost pad, and I imagine that would really screw you over. I imagine you just go shootingly fast and then just dive bomb off the stage. I'm glad they removed it because it would really get in my way. So how do they make a harder course after throwing that at you? They make another Vanilla Lake! Thanks game! But it's alright, Vanilla Lake 2 is actually fairly easy. The uh, famous last words. But here we are in but oh! I'm frozen, I'm frozen. Well, here we are in Vanilla Lake 2. I say that it's not actually that bad, but I've got to reclaim my lead before I can really proclaim that. Okay, there's my lead back. Yeah, Vanilla Lake 1, 
I seem to think is a lot harder. There's loads of little shortcuts you can take here just diving over the water. Oh, really now? But yeah, that little shortcut there, really you're supposed to use a mushroom because the snow will slow you down. But it's quicker to just drive across it even without a mushroom. And the CPUs actually know that. And they will always drive across that shortcut even without a mushroom. Even if there's a banana in the way. So it's a really good tactic to plant a banana there. Because you plant bananas apparently and they grow into a banana tree. Or do you? Um, duh. I don't know really. I think they have... I don't know how you grow bananas. Like, somebody can tell me if they know. I don't know how to grow bananas. But yeah, Vanilla Lake 2. Plant some bananas in the shortcuts. Uh, I just shouldn't use the word plant in that context. Don't bump into the loose ice cubes. Uh, hop at... Wow, Luigi submerged in the automated driving. And hop over all the water. And then you'll be alright. You really want to get first place in... Vanilla Lake 2 because you want to start in first for Rainbow Road because Rainbow Road is rock solid I know I've already used that term in this video but it really is right, you thought Ghost Valley 3 was bad this blows it out of the water Rainbow Road the classic Rainbow Road there's a Rainbow Road in every Mario Kart this one actually came back for Mario Kart 7 it's quite different in the Game Boy Advance to how it is in the SNES and the 3DS. Because in the SNES there's loads of swamps across the course. A different kind of swamp in fact. They have magical powers and I want to get rid of this mushroom. But yeah, magical swamps that will probably zap you if you drive into one. I can't say that for sure. I never drove into a swamp. Nor did I watch anyone drive into a swamp. And they can probably crush you. They're quite small in Super Mario Kart, they get bigger in Mario Kart 7, but there's less of them. The Thwomps will also crash into the ground in Mario Kart 7 to make little shock waves, and then your kart will be thrown up into the air by these shock waves and you can perform tricks. Mario Kart 7's version of this course also adds some new jumps, like this intersection here, they add a little ramp. And you can't get to the other side of the intersection just by driving over that ramp without a mushroom. But you can kind of clip off the ramp and then land back on the intersection. We've just gone past where another ramp would be in Mario Kart 7 twice now. There's loads of just normal ramps on that stretch we went past which I can't really describe. And... They're good to take, and I've just spent that entire last course in the game just blubbering about how it's changed in old and new Mario Karts. But, <laughs> never mind. That is Rainbow Ride done. And that is the entirety of every course done. And my phone is ringing. I don't know if you can hear it, it's the introductory music for Hainanbo, the Smash Brothers Brawl stage. I also have Hainanbo on DSiWare, it's fun. I hope that didn't pick up too much. There's probably my mother ringing about my Elgato which came today. It, she's currently got it, it's not with me, but hey, we got rank B! We got first place on every course in the last cup in the game. As I said, this isn't the finale, there is one more video I'd like to do. But, yeah, that was fun, and that was also my 100th video. So, hooray, smiles all around. Let's see which randomly chosen course we get in the end credits. I think it will be an SNES course we get. Remember, in my practice, I got Bowser Castle 3. Let's see if we get that one again. Yeah, we did, we got Bowser Castle 3. So, take a good look, everyone, just to make sure it is Bowser Castle 3. I think it's Bowser Castle 3. I don't really care. You know I don't like the SNES Bowser Castles, but let's just return to the title screen. We've only got one video left to do, so look forward to it. See you then.